It's Valentine's That's Day. Enough of that. Is it enough of that? Valentine's Day. <coughs> you have asked about this, and we are doing it. Yeah. So, Pete is holding his uh, purple. Uh, <laughs> the Avenger uh, oh. six-string um, <laughs> Telecaster, which he's had for uh, three or four years. Yes, yeah, I've years. got it for my <coughs> birthday. Anyway. And anyway, it's a great guitar. Everybody loves this guitar. And about uh, 18 months ago, Pete and I kind of stumbled across the idea of going, why don't we ask Fender to just make some more? And since then, we've been getting this basic inspired guitar uh, in the purple color with the gold anodized pick guard. We've done it in different colors. We've done it in relics. We've done it with the fatter 52 style neck. We've done it with a thinner 59 style neck. Yeah. Anyway, super, super popular. All the colors are super, super limited. There's never more than like two or a couple of each run and all that. Anyway, good fun. But yeah. you do need to have nearly 4,000 pounds to buy to one own of these. One. Yeah. Um, Let me just add quickly, this is a partsman plate. I'm still waiting for my, uh, yes. which was the whole point, in, way in the beginning that I wanted to put one on, but I'm still waiting for that. Anyway, yeah. so that's why this is still a So the, yeah, the, the ones we do come with a gold anodized pick guard, yeah. which is what Pete is wanting to put on that. But yeah. basically, uh, we asked Fender to give them a free gold analyzed pickup, which they said yes to, but like about 18 months ago, and it's still. I think it might life. be sitting in their office, and it's just come in, and it's just lying there. Anyway. I think that's the last thing I heard. Anyway, doesn't matter. And then, sort of September, October last year, uh, Pete said, "Oh look, what I've just found on the Guitar Center website." Yeah, I think somebody sent me some messages right. going, "Oh, I can finally get a." It's like a purple road worn Mexican telly. Yeah. So we kind of looked at it and just sort of went. Oh man, that's a cool idea. I wish we'd had that yeah. idea. Yeah, why didn't we have that um, idea? And then I thought, you know what? I know one of the dudes at Guitar Center. I'll phone them up and yeah. just say, look, man. I, and they, in all fairness to them, they kind of went, yeah, we just did this, like, even we didn't know anything about that telecast, so we just thought it should be. So I, I don't know whether that's true or not. Yeah, hey, <laughs> but we'll, that's we'll, the story. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, but so we said, look, is there any chance we can grab some? And they were cool. They just said, yeah, sure. It's like, let's work something out with Fender. So I don't know how many went to Guitar Center, 100 or whatever, but 20 came to Anderton's. Yeah. Uh, so I suspect Guitar Center have still got some of these left as well. So if you're in America, check that out. But over here in Europe, 20 came to Anderton's. And so although it's not like an exact Mundo copy, it's pretty, you know, it's similar. It's pretty close. It's a little lighter purple. Yeah. Um, that might wear it, better when it wears a bit, because that's yep. a nitro lacquer as well. <laughs> it's nitro lacquered, yeah. Yep. It's obviously the road worn style relic rather than the heavy relic that you get from the custom shop. Yeah. But, um, you know, and the neck feels a little different. It's a similar profile, but it's, it's got very, a... It's very similar, actually. I think it's a yeah. seven and a two, three, uh, seven, seven and a quarter, and a quarter inch, inch radius, radius yeah. but this is nine and a half. But, right. but it doesn't feel like seven, yep. does it? It's just set up really nice. Yeah. I feel the neck is all uh, lac uh, <coughs> satin. So turn it over, Lee. Flip it over. Yep. So there's a little the bit of wear side. on the back. I like the fact that on here you can now start to see where the, the lacquer is sinking into the body. Um, yeah. And we're about to sort of just basically plug them both in and get some comparisons of tone. But this is cool. We've got five of these left, so a little bit late. Um, like yeah, in doing to do this a video. video. But, but there's been some um, people asking, so. And uh, anyway, look. So first of all, get, can we just do a quick like plug in, plug out? Yeah. G chord, G chord. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So G chord <coughs> on this guitar, it's like this on the on the neck pickup. D G C D and stuff. I'm running into a Rift PR35. Here is a G chord from this guitar. A little bit more spanky this one, isn't it? A little it? bit more spanky, but there's custom shop pickups. There is a twisted telly in the neck and an old cast in the back. Yep. These are it's just As pickups. far as I'm aware, just the, the, the same pickups. So it'd be like classic 50s that you'd get yeah. in the sort of road. Just, you, just do that. Just go like a, maybe play a little bit more, maybe add a little stomp put the, or something. I'll put a, an overdrive sort of... pedal on here. To this one i tell you it's not bad to play that no i think it's nice yeah, yeah. it's it's uh here we go so this is this one so definitely 
definitely brighter than, yeah. than, than this one. There's more output in these pickups. I mean, these are very, I believe that one of these pickups are like 10 and a half K or something output. It's really, wow. it does um, that. And you can buy these pickups and throw in there if you, if you like, I'm gonna. That's true, yeah, that's true. I can tell you, let me show you this. So let give, give that back, please. So let's say, okay. So if let's say you got this and you go, oh, the neck, these a bit the neck more, carve is really similar. It's very similar. Isn't really it? similar. This is, yeah. It's very similar. Yeah. It's very similar. It's eerie similar. So let's say I just I want a little bit more spank from yeah. that. So I'll go. I'll just add a bit of tone from my overdrive yeah. pedal. Maybe a little bit more a bit tone. More, yeah. So Bridge so pick up. So already there, so you can kind of go, I don't want to spend that money on a pickup, yeah. whatever, I'll just dial in one of my overdrive yeah. pedals, it's, and, it's then, so, you, and um, then you get it. You know, and you, I don't know how not, much of it is just, again, psychosomatic, because I know this one is wow. three times the price of this one or whatever. Um, this, I mean, it should this be just, It just, this does, I think it does sound better, if there is a, yeah. if there is a thing. I mean, that's a preference. Uh, but that's cool. Relative. I think it's, yeah. it plays good. It looks great, yeah. and uh, it sounds good. And of course, you've always got the option of putting different pickups in. But yeah, it's, it's got crack, it's got crack not lacquer, and... similar bridge by the looks of things. It's got the the, the the same kind of basic bridge, but yeah. with the, the the saddles are a little bit smaller on yeah, on chunky. this one. These are a little and bit fatter. Saddles. Yeah, yeah. I never remember whether these are these are still brass and just coloured, oh. uh, or whether they are just like a steel saddle. I have to look that okay. up. But it's they're, they're not. We'll they'll do a close up for you guys on the. Um, Sorry. Close up camera, and you should see that the, the ones on this guitar are a little bit uh, fatter. This one for the Danish guys, Kammerengelrad. Anyway, so this was these that these come in gig bags. Yeah, right? gig bags come gig with a gig bags. bag. And it's other than that, it's just regular part of the road one. So it's same price as a regular road worn. You know, it's yep. just. But um, anyway, that's cool. Very cool, limited edition. So there's, yep. there won't be spe or special limited edition. Yeah, I think that's super, super cool. I think it's very cool. And who knows very what we might do in the future now that we've figured out that we might do like purple road worn tellies and stuff. Who yeah. knows, maybe next year we might do something whether try and get the relicking a bit closer or something like that. It feels, really, <laughs> yeah. feels so similar, this guitar. It does, feels really similar, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, very cool. Um, and whilst we're on the subject of purple telecasters, I, I should I did mention, didn't I? It, it, of course, if you if you do just go, oh, I just want basically a replica of this, please. <laughs> Absolutely, go to the Anderson's website, hundred percent. Look for yeah. either the fifty two or the fifty nine, um, with slightly different neck. That's all it is. One is a slightly 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 thicker than the other yeah. one. Yeah. So they're all the same guitar. The fifty two has the bigger, slightly more baseball batty neck. The fifty nine has the slightly more. Yeah. Like if you're used to playing a modern American Strat or something like that, you're going to be perhaps more at home with the 59 yeah. neck. Yeah. But it's other than that, same. Yeah. And guitar. if you want anything completely custom. I mean, yeah. you, you well, so here's a story. A customer phoned us and said, can I get an inspired by Pete Telly? I want the kind of the purple body. It ended up being a little bit darker purple, but I wanted the, he wanted the gold anodized pick guard. Midnight. Um, He's got the same twisted telly and 51 no caster pickup. And this is where the whole thing went slightly awry. The, the, the guy said, can I get a, a roasted maple neck? Mm -hmm. No problem at all. And then uh, the guy went, can you make sure, is it, uh, there's something went lost in translation. It was like, is the headstock the same color? Now in hindsight, what we realize is the customer's meaning, you know, is the headstock the same color as the rest of the roasted maple neck? Which of course it is. Mm -hmm. But our guys misinterpreted that and said, you mean you want a matching headstock, meaning that and that. So the customer's like, yeah, that's what I mean. And you can see <laughs> where the thing has yeah, gone wrong here. Yeah. So we order the guy a purple telecast with a matching headstock and he gets in. It's like, oh man, it's got a color of the headstock, same as the body. It's like, yeah, that's what a matching headstock is. He's like, no, no, I just meant, could it just be like the same color brown as the, <laughs> as the fretboard? It's like, yeah. oh man. Anyway, we were like, look, man, the guitar looks super cool. It's very he'd, cool. He'd gone for a journeyman relic rather than a heavy relic, so he just got a little bit like one or two chips rather than the totally destroyed look. <laughs> and we just we just said to the dude, look, man, if it's not what you thought it was going to look like, it's, you know, it's super. It's it looks super cool. Awesome. Flip it over. So I'm you can sure see that, uh, the neck there. Someone else is going to want this, so we said we said to the guy, it's completely cool if you don't want it, so we'll keep it. So we've like we've it. got it, and it's for sale now. Um, this is a total one of a kind. What's um, the serial number, Lee? Where do they even put it? On the, on the, on the, in the... Oh yeah, 
uh, R for Robert, 17507. Um, this hey. is great. Comes with the, all the beautiful tweed case and the, you and know, the, the custom shop wallet. Leather all the smelly. details in it. So let's, let's have a little, you know, Pete and I'll let's jam see, out. Let's hear, let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> Pedals have I got on to make that so much louder than it was before? Or is this guitar just so much louder? I have no pedals on, it's the same. We should just do some more matching headstock purple ones. This, this is cool. So there we go. That was a little comparison there. Uh, this guitar's for sale now. This is a guitar. Five left of these. I think it's ten nine nine. One of these, a unless lot, you lot really like it, and we'll just custom order you another one. Yep. And as I said, we have a relatively steady stream, like three or four guitars a month. Uh, not all purple, obviously. The purple we only do every so often. But you know. What have we done that's We cool did the on candy that? apple Can green yeah, the, with the bounded and the, the orange, the orange one candy tangerine, tangerine in with the binding, binding on it. It was like, oh, oh and it went, they went so quick. Yeah. We've done candy reds and Lake Placid Blues with the tortoise shell yeah, guards. We've done shell greens. greens. We've done Taos turquoise. Oh, the pink one and the turquoise shell, yeah, one. Shell pink. Oh, so man. They, they kind of... They appear and disappear on our website, yeah. you know, almost weekly as pe as they sort of come and they, yeah. and they go. But and there's they're something great. about the pickup combination that just is yeah. But every every single one is fundamentally this guitar with with either as I said either a slightly chunkier neck. Uh, did we ever do any rosewood fretboard ones? Yes, we did. I think we did. Yeah, yeah. we did. So, but only on the 59s, right? The yes, 52 we did. Was only yes, ever rosewood made boards, Yeah. And just quickly to the people <coughs> who were asking about the wiring, it's just normal standard normal tele wiring. Yeah. Modern telly wire, um, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's and called. And typically but. we do them all heavy relict. Yes. Uh, and I just, it's so weird. Say Pete, it. Pete and I were saying, it's like, I totally get the relic is a Marmite thing and like 75% of people just go, I don't know why you'd buy that. It's like, rah, rah, rah. But here's a, a sales statistic for you people. <laughs> Fact. The Pete and I went, okay, fine. Let's buy some in like non relict to appease the uh, yeah. angry this, masses. This, the, the, uh... And uh, guess which ones are all still here and haven't sold? That's right, folks, the ones that aren't Heavy Relic. Uh, <laughs> but, the Heavy yeah. Relic ones just go like... They're classic, classic <laughs> ones, just still here. Still. Hey, what do we know? So, um, yeah, we love Heavy Relic guitars, uh, as do uh, some people. But it's a free world, baby. Yes. You can like whatever you like. Exactly. Uh, let's jam out. Let's jam out. Before you do that, so this guitar we're using in this video oh, has got serial number. Because uh, I remember we did a GNL video and somebody, like, a year later, tagged me on Instagram, Mr. Peter Onway, uh, and said, I've got a guitar. guitar. And he was watching the video as he's looking at the serial number. So this one has got MX181211144. Uh, Great. So if you get this, Please tag that us. One. Yeah. Tag us on Instagram. And as I said before, if you if you live in Europe and you're thinking, woo, then yes, woo. tap on over to Anderton's. There's not many left. Uh, and if you're in the States or somewhere else that Guitar Center ships to, I know those guys had some as well. Yeah. So anyway. Do it. Let's jam out. Yeah. Hashtag Anderton's make me do it. They did. Yeah.
<laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>